Hi Capricorn, welcome to your June 2021 general reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Uh, general energies guys, uh, if love comes up we'll talk about it but uh, more than likely this is going to be a general energies around Sun and Rising Signs for Capricorn for the month of June. At the end of this reading, and new this month, I'll be offering extended readings. So I will be offering you the full reading here, but if you'd like to go deeper, of course, you can join me in the extended. Two ways you can do that, by clicking on the link below for the Vimeo, and uh, there you can watch it there. And uh, if you don't want to do that, you can join my channel, my Band of Gypsies, and uh, join me at the extended readings access level, and you can watch it here on YouTube. And there are ways you can join my channel by clicking on the join button below or looking in the box for the link. Okay, Capricorn, let's get started. I want to get, uh, I'm chopping at the bit here for you uh, to see what's going on for my beautiful Capricorns for the month of June. Let's get the uh, general message here for, what is the general energy here for Capricorn? The focus, if you will, for the month of June for Capricorn. Okay, we have power over seven scorpions, the power to conjure lower vibrational forces. Ooh, okay, we'll see where that one goes, guys. Interesting energy. Uh, let's also get, uh, I feel like I'm being called to get a the energy around you. So let's take a look at that. What is the energy around Capricorn, please, for June? Fire, okay. Things are getting passionate around you here. Goodness, what's going on, guys? Let's get a card from the Seasons of the Witch Oracle. Message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to hear, please, for the month of June? What does Capricorn need to hear, please, for the month of June? Okay, we have silence. Hmm, all right. I also want to get supportive energy what is the supportive energy for capricorn please for the month of june okay we've got uh, the butterfly somewhat fragile energy around that and i want to pull one more card here where should my beautiful Capricorns be focusing their energy right now. Where should they be focusing their energy for June? Where should Capricorn be focusing? Okay, we've got the Cone of Power. Cone of Power, energy. Okay, Capricorn. This is really interesting, Capricorn, because we've got this Cone of Power. It feels very much like being connected with an energy source it's kind of like hooking yourself up to an energy source, a, a source of power. Now it has this cone shape and it's interesting because uh, when you think of uh, a dunce's cap, a dunce's cap was in the shape of a, of a cone and it was meant to give that person wisdom for something silly that they did. Or, and also, of course, the witch's hat is also in this shape as well, uh, directing power towards the wearer. So there's an energy here of something coming to you. Uh, so I get it from source, a source, a source of power for you to overcome something which has uh, poisoned you. Now, poison, what do I mean by that? It could be anything, really. It's a general reading. But what I'm getting here is it could be uh, fear, guilt, blame, shame, anger, possessiveness, something born of abandonment or rejection in the past. It may be a poison that is sourced from within yourself or it could be a poison that's been injected into your system from another. It could be a phrase, an insult, some kind of uh, cruelty something that was said supposedly in humor but that wounded you so it does feel like there is something pervasive or that something that has been pervasive uh, it has been restrictive it could have been uh, the fact that you were bullied 
it might even be a sense here of your own fear of success or fear of failure it could even be uh, an ego an ego uh, situation that I'm picking up here so there's an energy around this of taking ownership of the situation you, know, you can't pull out or you can't deal with something until you know the source uh, and I feel like you've given something within you has been allowed to run free in the system like a poison uh, and it has somehow kept you back or kept you from uh, feeling like you could be successful and it seems like it may have been something that was placed on you from childhood uh, for a lot of you uh, what you give energy to has power and I feel that in the past this all-pervasive kind of poison within you it poisoned your inner child it, it, it made that a beautiful child within yourself uh, start to doubt yourself uh, start to feel like you weren't uh, attractive like you weren't beautiful mm, yeah but what I'm seeing here is that you're starting the transformation process where you are learning to control that poison uh, for a lot of you you're even uh, I feel uh, getting rid of that toxicity if you will burning it out you've been given the power to ignite something new in your life that is going to help you heal from this situation here that I was picking up uh, you have this fire energy around you you have the passion you have the fire in the belly you have the will the determination the courage to overcome uh, something that has restricted you uh, feeling here of uh, something that knocked your confidence knocked your self-esteem something there that affected uh, affected you it could have been a sense of abandonment rejection or hurtful words that was said to you now the important thing I feel around you at the moment is to yes you're changing yes there's transformation but it's important to be careful because I feel like this transformation around you is uh, you're particularly fragile at the moment so you could be easily hurt uh, you could even inadvertently hurt yourself by uh, perpetuating this this poison uh, within yourself especially if it has been brought in by another person injected into you so I do feel that during a time of withdrawal uh, silence retreat you're taking time to look at gaining power over what has restricted you in the past kept you from achieving something that you wanted to achieve Capricorn so we'll look at this uh, further during the reading of course so let me uh, put these to one side here for a moment Capricorn and uh, let's get the tarot down I've already been meditating on your energy uh, but let's do a few more shuffles for you a special welcome to my podcast listeners on Apple Amazon and Spotify if you guys want to access the extended reading uh, you can join me at my YouTube channel Gypsy Insights by Michelle okay let's see Capricorn what is going on here for Capricorn please one more for June for Capricorn okay one more for Capricorn okay let's take a look here guys Okay, let's take a look we have the king of cups the six of coins the king of wands wow right in the center we've got page of coins in reverse king of swords wow we've got three kings on the board uh, seven of swords the death card ten of swords and the three of swords 
Okay, Capricorn, let's start with the King of Cups. You're coming up as uh, the King of Cups. Now, Capricorn, you may have uh, some water in your chart, but I'm picking this up mainly as the energy around you. It feels, it feels like when it comes to okay when it feels like something that you want to achieve right now this fire energy that i'm sensing now i feel it's important just to sit be still and sit with your i get this is sit with your feelings for a bit now that's going to feel a little bit strange to you i feel capricorn uh, that's where I'm picking up this fragility, this King of Cups, uh, because this is this is going to feel like your Achilles heel. Uh, emotions, I feel, are your Achilles heel. Uh, you have a lot of strength when it comes to every aspect of your life, but emotionally, I feel this is where you get hit hard. You feel that you are... I feel like you've been hurt. I feel like you've been very, very hurt by people in the past. Uh, I get even family members and, and gosh, guys, if that's you, I'm, I'm so sorry that happened to you. But I, I feel like that's led you to have these, this quite, I get like an emotional, easily emotionally wounded. We all are, but I feel that, that you have a particular, gosh, uh, it, it feels like an open wound, uh, it does. Mm. Now we have the six of coins. This is beautiful energy. It feels like something is coming in from the universe for you uh, that's going to help you, that's going to support you, uh, that's going to allow you to, I get, I get someone who is going to be very, show you loyalty, uh, show you that you matter. Uh, someone that's going to care about you and I feel like this person has been placed in your path in order for you to receive the love that you haven't received in the past Capricorn and I feel that you're going to offer the same to the other person so I do feel that uh, you both seem to be quite um, you, you've both been easily hurt and I don't want to make it seem like you're like you're uh, like a, a fragile uh, it, it just feels like I actually feel like the boat I'm talking about two people here I feel like it's you and someone else on your path now this person you may have already met or you may be just about to meet them for a lot of you you're just about to meet them this person's going to be very important to you. Uh, now you both have a guard up because you have been hurt and wounded in the past, uh, certainly. But I feel like with the King of Cups and Six of Coins, I feel like this is an opportunity for you to start feeling again, to start uh, tentatively opening up. Uh, yes, there's a risk of emotional wounding again. I get that. And let's see where this goes. Uh, because I've got the King of Wands here. And this is this passion, this fire around you. So Capricorn, I feel like this is courage. This is confidence. It's going to help you be able to express and be open to something uh, affecting you emotionally. Mm. I feel like you've been closed off to relationships or closed off to, uh, to passion, uh, closed off to uh, opening up, closed up to receiving uh, love from another as well. And this is you being able to confidently present yourself as someone who uh, feels worthy of love because you are absolutely worthy of love, Capricorn. 
and I almost get this sense of like um, re death and rebirth uh, like this is going to be something brand new I don't feel this is an ex or anyone like that coming back this is something brand new coming in for you and it's going to give you a sense of renew renewed sense of life uh, uh, feeling good again I feel like Capricorn for a while now you have lacked direction when it comes to your love life uh, some of you may have been searching but I feel only kind of maybe haphazardly uh, but there is someone being placed on your path that's going to light your fire that's going to give you this sense of renewed passion and it's going to feel good it's going to feel like a, a rebirth uh, to you like having something to to live for again let's see we've got the page of coins in reverse but the opportunity could be missed if you let it pass by I feel like some of you Capricorns here this won't be for everyone of course but some of you may have let uh, or had a tendency to let opportunity pass you by uh, because you didn't want to feel you didn't want to feel you didn't want to be yeah it's, it's like you wanted it but then again you feared it at the same time and it was almost easier for you Capricorn to put yourself out there and and have people reject you or or yeah it's it's interesting I'm getting this kind of energy it, it felt it felt easier for you to either be rejected or for you to reject the other person before they could reject you that felt like it was easier for you yeah because I feel like you uh, you didn't want to be hurt or broken and, and that's that's natural of course uh, but it's also unfortunately I feel things have passed you by opportunities passed you by because you have uh, I feel re either just submitted to rejection and said oh well that's that's usually how it happens and 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 uh, and or or you or okay or you reject the other person okay now the king of swords is understanding that which holds you back that that which prevents you from getting what you want from feeling uh, success this king of swords tells me that your power your superpower this month of june capricorn is in understanding having power over this lower vibrational force which has held you back it's something that was told to you something that you believed about yourself I get a, a, a wounded inner child here one that feels uh, like their their innocence their youth uh, their uh, sense of fun and playfulness has been taken away from them I almost get this kind of dominating energy around this Capricorn someone may have dominated you or they may have tried to control you and they have done it in a very manipulative way uh, that's someone in the past there who may or may not still be around they could be uh, you know long deceased but the the, the memory still remains the, the hurt the wounds are still there uh, Capricorn is what I'm getting but your acknowledgement and your understanding of what that what that is will help you move forward now when it comes to the seven of swords this is you running away I feel that you you tend to run away from things that are uh, well actually what you want you you want love you want uh, someone in your life uh, but yet you run from it uh, you may even uh, destroy it you may even uh, yeah I get sabotage it 
I do something shady uh, for some of you in order to yeah I get I get run back run back running where are you running to where are you running back to some of you may hurt others because you've been hurt that's just for some of you and if that's the case guys uh, then there's a definite need for you to look at that uh, why you feel like you you have a need to hurt someone else uh, uh, because I do feel like there's a, someone around you who has been trying to approach you and but you have rejected them you may have even been quite uh, ruthless or some of you may have even hurt this person hmm okay now we've got the death card here it is about death and rebirth this butterfly it is about transformation there's a definitely a need here to be uh, be conscious of a situation that is very fragile now this is two things I feel it's yes it's you going through this death and rebirth cycle I get that I get that you can bring this okay whatever this lost opportunity is Capricorn I feel like it can be brought back whatever you feel you lost here now it could be a relationship it could be a uh, something that you you let pass by an opportunity of some kind you you can manifest this back you can bring it back to life you can but it's very it feels very fragile mm. yes why does it feel fragile well because I feel that you've you've have hurt someone and I feel that you hurt someone because you didn't want to hurt it's like hurting them before they could hurt you and that won't be for all of you Capricorns but I am getting it for quite a few so don't fear don't fear the fragility uh, it's saying go through this this stage anyway I uh, guess it's going to feel quite tenuous uh, yes it's going to feel not quite stable or secure but you're being asked to go through this uncomfortable kind of mm, it's almost like going through an awkward so think of it as like the teenage years when we go through that awkward phase when we're not quite children not quite adults it kind of feels like that uh, like you're going through some kind of change in your life so it could be literally a life change of course let's see the ten of swords again we've got this major energy of ending but new beginning an ending but a new beginning and I do feel that there has been th there has been something that was uh, I get ended I killed off if you will and it was done in quite a, a difficult way that caused not only pain to this other person but pain to you as well Capricorn because I don't feel that you, you liked the way that it all went down three of swords energy there's a lot to be gained from looking at what happened here it's something that you did that caused pain to another I get that very strongly because you yourself are hurt now I do feel that you're being called here to look at that to, to look within now the power over the seven scorpions 
I want to talk a little bit more about that before I go uh, to the extended here. You're guided to become aware of the, the power of your words. Words hurt and words can heal. Yeah, but we only can heal if we know what hurts us, if we know what the poison is, it's kind of like getting the antidote, right? Say if we get bitten by a, uh, a scorpion or bitten by a snake, for instance, uh, it's only, we can only get uh, the antidote to that if we know what bit us. So what bit you here, Capricorn? So you're bitten by something in the past that caused this toxicity. Being able to look at that and identify what that is that causes, uh, I feel that causes you to hurt other people. Uh, it's because you've been something there that wounded you. Yeah. There's an energy here of naming the poison. But that requires careful and clear assessment. If you judge or resist really knowing it, you're unlikely to be able to accurately name and therefore gain power over this poison. If you stay curious, detached and compassionate, your perception and ability to wield the power that comes with the ability to accurately name the poison, something will increase. You know, the, it could really be whatever this poison is, I feel like you can give this poison even more power, you know, that cone of power, that cone of energy. You can choose what you give this energy to. Now some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn who is giving power to that lower vibration. Unfortunately I, I do get that, but for others of you, if you're the person here who did something that I feel that you, you regret, that you feel bad about. There's a need to look deep within, to shine that light within, because right now it feels like in this silence that you have between you and another person, which I feel is because it's ended, is giving you an opportunity to shine that energy within and see why you've done this. That hurt child, that hurt child. Hmm, okay. Because I do actually feel you want this. I mean, you want this opportunity, you want this person, you want whatever this is, you want it, but yet you ended it. So let's see where this goes in the extended, guys. Before I go to the extended, though, I will pull another card from the Botanical Impressions Oracle. Guys, if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy shop and purchase directly there. And Capricorn, if, you, if this is your story and you'd like to know more, feel free to join me in the extended reading. I'll be going a lot further in depth there. Uh, the link for that is down below. You can join me on Vimeo or you can go and uh, if you'd like to uh, support my membership, support my channel uh, on a regular basis, you can join my uh, channel, my Band of Gypsies. The link is down below or you can click on the join button and you can get access to the extended readings there. And not only that, you also get early access to the readings as well, to my YouTube readings. If you're listening on the podcast, you'll have to go to my YouTube channel, Gypsy Insights by Michelle, to gain access to the extended reads. Okay, guys, let's, so let's have a look here. Don't forget to press that little like button. Share me on your social media as well. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, consider subscribing if you're a newcomer. I'd love to have you guys. So let's see. Capricorn. What is the message for Capricorn, please? For June. The Camellia, Camellia Blanc, Destiny. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. William Shakespeare. 
So believe it or not, where you are right now is your destiny. I feel like uh, there is something being placed on your path in order for you to to deal with something that has been kind of festering. You know, there's this this poison energy to get that toxic energy out, to get uh, to rid yourself of whatever this uh, this poison is that. Uh, uh, yeah, that has stopped you from achieving what you want to achieve. Uh, there's power in pain uh, because I feel that you hurt someone but you actually feel that it probably hurt you more. It's that very thing that is going to call you to go within here Capricorn and take control over this lower vibrational force which has uh, been running rampant in your system for a while mm -hmm. what you give energy to what you give power to it will expand uh, i do feel that for you that cone of power there are many ways it can be used but for you i feel that you're being called to use it to gain wisdom and understanding clarity about about whatever this poison is, name it, name it so you can deal with it. I'm going to talk more about this in the extended reading Capricorn. I hope that you join me there. The link is down below or you can join my Band of Gypsies channel membership uh, for to watch them here on YouTube. Wishing you the best guys. Thanks again for watching and listening on the podcast and bye for now.